A very successful project from that point of view, Mr Speaker. Question number seven in Lees Galloway. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by all his statements on withdrawing troops from Afghanistan? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary question in Lees Galloway. Mr Speaker, when he told New Zealanders that our troops would be out of Afghanistan by 2014, was he already planning to break that promise? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, that will probably prove to be correct. What we announced yesterday uh, was continuation of what we've seen, which is the PRT will be disbanded. Uh, they'll be out by April, May uh, of this year. The SAS has gone home. We've agreed that there'll be 27 New Zealand NZ NZDF forces who are there for a further year. Um, that's to about the middle of 2014. We'll assess that situation at that point then. But I think it makes sense to have those people in behind the wire rolls support a smooth transition to the Afghan government. Supplementary question, Anne Lees Galloway. When was he asked to deploy New Zealand troops on the new mission that he announced yesterday, and who made that request? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I um, wouldn't say it's a new deployment because some of those people are already already in similar types of roles. There are eight people, for instance, NZDF staff, who are in the Sandhurst and the Sand Training Officers, so it's not necessarily new. And in fact, the logistics uh, and intelligence role played by the three SAS people, again, is already happening at the moment, but the basis of their mandate is changing. I can't tell you the exact date uh, when there were discussions between the Minister of Defence and his counterparts and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and their counterparts, uh, but that would have happened sometime over the last 12 months. The Minister of Defence is away at an ISAF NATO meeting at the moment. Those things uh, are discussions all the time. Supplementary question, Anne Lees Galloway. Can he confirm to the House whether or not the United States Government requested troops to be deployed in Kabul following the withdrawal of the Provincial Reconstruction Team in Bamiyan? So, uh, Mr. Right Speaker, John. Mr. Speaker, no, um, and I wouldn't say troops are being deployed in Kabul. What I'd say is that there are 27 people who are working in a different variety of operational roles. Some will be in Kabul, but they're largely, well, they're all behind the wire and they're largely in staff officer or intelligence or training type roles. Question number eight, Tim McIndoe. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Science and Innovation. How is the government focusing New Zealand science funding?